Hello and today we're playing the green trickster himself Loki and we're going to be using the Nordic skin my favorite skin for Loki while well, it is the only skin for Loki to be honest with you I remember doing a giveaway for that that was probably the first giveaway I ever did in Divine Knockout and on my team here today in this duos we have a Thanatos and on the enemy team we have an Athena and a Susano that is a very interesting combination you rarely ever see Athena and Susano together I don't know why maybe it's because the two characters are kind of difficult to play for new players or it's just such a wonky combination they don't really benefit as much who really knows okay so i'm getting knocked out i need to kind of pay more attention here because i don't want to get knocked out early and i got hit with a beautiful spare by that athena hitting the than hit sorry hitting the susano to get him off my buddy over here thanathos trying to peel where i can now that was actually a really nice interrupt by the Thanatos right there and I'm staying back right here getting my cooldowns up for my invisibility so I can get it and poison them. I'm going to pop it right here. Oh man, that the counterplay by this enemy team is so good. Can I get my ultimate off? It does separate them and we do get tricked to work into the air attack and it doesn't hit. That kind of sucks right there. Do I get my dagger on the Susano? That's good. Giving the Thanatos at least a little bit of help out because he's kind of struggling as well as I am. Hitting him with the air light, air heavy. Does it eliminate the Susano? It does. And looks like Thanatos is about to get rid of the Athena simultaneously or very close to giving us a nice first round victory. Now, Loki is one of the best characters in the game right now, especially for those new players. Obviously, if you're not a new player, you're probably going to have other characters that you're accustomed to right now. For example, for me, I'm not really a new player. I do enjoy playing Loki. Oh, he's far from my favorite. Currently, I would say my favorite character somehow became Ymir. I'm playing Ymir and I'm having so much fun with him. Just all the meme plays, you know what I mean? Okay, so coming in there, just walking a little back, getting the light attacks off on the Athena into the hold heavy attack. I'm going to collect this health arm. You know, I, I thought the health arm would have come out in time, but it didn't. That's okay. Interrupting the Susana. I want to try to eliminate the Susana early or the Athena. I, I don't know. Just the fact that Thanatos is doing such a good job and the Susano is surviving with his whirlwinds, or should I say helicopter moves, eliminated by the Thanatos. Now, I'm kind of being edge guarded hard, popping my ultimate, hitting back the Athena. She somehow survives. I do have acrobatic strikes up. Can I catch her off in the sky? And that should... Oh, okay. I was about to say that would have been the elimination. Somehow she survived. But then again, it's Athena. It makes total sense. And she gets caught in the Thanatos' Dark Vader choke. And boom, there goes Athena. Now, since I released that Thanatos guide last week, or was it earlier this week? I don't know when this video is going to come out. I know it's going to come out within the same proximity of time. Because I released that guide, I've been playing a lot of Thanatos again lately. And let me be honest with you, playing with him initially in the beginning was very, very difficult. I, I was struggling to land certain things. And you're going to see in the video I released that, you know, I do improve along the way. Now, Athena is at 71%. I'm going to try my best to knock her out, but keep an eye on my partner just in case. Because let me be honest with you, sometimes when you don't pay attention to your partner in duos, you don't realize that they just get eliminated out of nowhere. And you're like, okay, now I just got a 1v2. So let's see here, getting some nice side attacks off on Athena with my build for Loki. I've switched it up a little bit from the Black Mamba build, but the Black Mamba build is a beautiful one, and I see it being successfully used in Divine Knockout currently. Now, looking to have my ultimate. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Thanatos gets eliminated. Okay, this team right here, what I've learned is I'm going to have to kite around. I tried to use my ultimate, but for some reason it got... I don't know, turned off or something happened, maybe interrupted. I, I might have to rewind the footage for that. So I'm invisible, trying to get some attacks. Okay, so I'm going to back up Kite and wait for cooldowns. If I rush into this, I'm pretty sure they're both going to eliminate me out since they're not giving me a chance to 1v1, and I'm totally okay with that. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to 1v2 here. going to back up here, just keep them following me and kiting around. I know my acrobatic strikes and invisibility is up. Can I catch him off here? Yes, doing some extra damage into the invisibility, dodging the spear. And the sad part right there is I was not able to land any light attacks, but that dagger does come out on the Athena. I'm going to pop my ultimate here, and does it eliminate her? No, she does have her mobility coming into the grounds and collects the health orb. If I rush to the health orb, that would have been bad. That dodge was well-timed on my part. My acrobatic strikes is coming up. Going to look to use it right here. See if I can catch the Susano, knocking him back. Going to pop invisibility, stay behind the corner in case Athena decides to pop her ultimate. Where is the Susana right there? He's over there with Athena, his partner. Oh, no, no, no. Dodge, 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 dodge. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, so that's that. This is not looking too hot right now. Going to try to avoid jump, jumping back up. Just barely avoiding the Athena. My acrobatic strikes. Oh, man. 
That right there was the save of the century. I was a couple of milliseconds off from being eliminated if that acrobatic strikes didn't come out. And there goes the Athena. Now I just got to worry about the Susano. And a good thing is I'm lower vulnerability than him. I'm kiting around and using my surroundings. Now this is very, very important if you want to win certain matches. The environment of the maps really does count. I sadly didn't count on the elevation. Backing up into the dagger. Acrobatic strikes. Knocking him. Ping-ponging him. Not knocking him back. and ping-ponged him. I do have my ultimate up again. I'm gonna look now. I could walk down there and use my ultimate, but I'm just gonna play it safe right now. I'm not gonna rush too heavy into things because I'm still in a dangerous range, and it is Susano I'm going up against. Where is he going to land with that? As you can see, I keep using the corner, so I cut off his vision. I'm gonna try to bait him into my ultimate right here and exploding it, giving me the beautiful 1v2. What a way to start off this Loki gameplay for the day. And we're here in a second round. Now, this one actually is gonna be really scruff. Uh, scuff, sorry. This is going to be very difficult. I've faced this Amaterasu a couple of times. Now, it's not Genki. However, this Amaterasu is extremely good. I don't really remember fighting this Loki, so I'm going to try my best to help with this 1v2. And we got on my team an Izanami. So on the enemy team, Amaterasu and Loki. Very nice duo, by the way. And this Amaterasu, I don't know what happened there. I, gu I guess she fell down. Who knows? I'm taking it. I'm taking it, guys. All right. So the Loki comes in and gets hit by the Izanami just to save me a little bit gonna pop this collect this health I'm trying to land some stuff and I feel like I'm not getting the range I need to adjust myself a little bit because look at that I was landing so many nice moves that first round and I'm missing a lot of things thankfully the ultimate is used so we don't gotta worry about it Ooh, Izanami gets eliminated now it's Loki versus Loki which one of us is gonna come out on top I don't know right now it just depends coming in with acrobatic strikes now if that landed that would have been game over right there trying to get my dagger off on him it doesn't work popping the ultimate does it hit him out of the arena giving us the first round victory all planned guys that was pure luck i'll be very honest with you i was not expecting to get him out that way well i wasn't expecting it to work i thought he had his dodge or something available coming in with acrobatic strikes to hit the Amaterasu. Now, obviously, I'm going to try my best to focus the Amaterasu if possible, because every time I face this person in 1v2 or 2v2, they always focus me and I don't blame them. It's hilarious. So I'm pretty sure they watch my channel. So if you do, leave a comment down below. We need to play more games. It's over right there. GG into the rage quit. And that's what always happens when I face off against this specific player. What is it? Zai3 Angel3. That player always does that rage quit combo with Amaterasu, which is perfect to see. You don't see a lot of Amaterasu's actually pull it off. And there goes the first round, second round victory for that team. They quickly eliminated us both out. So popping the emote again. And that's another thing about that Amaterasu that I like. She does pop emotes whenever we're fighting. Coming in there with some light attacks, knocking him back, dodging out for the Loki. Now, I need to kind of step up my game. If I don't step up, me and my partner are going to lose. Oh, no. My partner gets eliminated. It probably spiked down to a level and wasn't able to recover. This is one of the issues when fighting against an Amaterasu. She always goes in for the spike. I mean, I do the same thing. I'll be very honest with you. I think the Loki is letting us 1v1. All right. So, if... I do somehow win this or lose this and we go into the next round and I eliminate the enemy. I'm going to allow them to 1v1 as well. I love that. I do it randomly in games and normally I do it against players, you know, I know or it's just it's just a thing amongst high ranking players or just players in general in the community. Normally against randoms, they don't do it as much. However, I know this Amaterasu and Loki are probably decent players. That's why they're allowing me to do this. Now I need to be able to turn this around. I was hoping I didn't get hit with that into the ultimate. It misses. Oh, no, 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 no. I realized what I was doing wrong. Like, I saw her globe, but for some reason it didn't click. Thankfully, I survived. I don't even know how. Popping my invisibility into the air light. Heavy. No, don't. I clicked dodge, but this is going to be game over right here. There's nothing I can do. I'm going to drop down. And there it goes. Giving them the second round victory. Now, let me know in the comment section below. I have a very good question for you. If you had to choose between Loki and Amaterasu, which one would you choose to play? Love the little Zeus emote right there. Amaterasu would really benefit from getting her own little emotes in the game. I personally believe so. Now, I did not land anything right there, and I'm being tossed around like a little rag doll or tossed around like a salad. Now, my partner is actually doing such a fantastic job with Izanami, and it makes me happy to see an Izanami in-game. As I said in another video, we don't really see them as much as they should because she's such a great character. We both missed daggers. That was a beautiful charge by Izanami right there. Coming in with the acrobatic strikes, dodging out. Oh, thankfully she hit her with the light attacks because I actually messed up big time. My ultimate is still a little ways off. I'm gonna try my best to eliminate one of them. Hopefully it's the Amaterasu. It would make this so much easier. 
If I land this acrobatic strikes right here, that should be game over. Yes, it is. So I'm going to allow these two to 1v1. So it's Loki versus Izanami. Izanami gets blown back by the ultimate. I'm probably trying to make her way back. As you see, she comes on. She does have her ultimate as well. The boomerang comes up, misses the enemy, but the ultimate comes out, engages, and Loki's just kiting around with walking. What she should have done right there when you went invisible was go in her fear. She's trying to dodge, and she gets eliminated out with the acrobatic strikes. Now it comes down to me versus Loki. Which one of us is going to come out on top? He falls from my air heavy attack gonna use the dagger it misses and what's gonna happen you think he just fell uh, it happens i guess it happens to me all the time you see it in my videos gg's all around to everybody in this matchup right now i'm having a ton of fun so my goal again is going to be to eliminate amaterasu as she's the most deadliest character and player out of the four of us i would say so and with that being said, she needs to be eliminated as much as possible. I'm taking advantage, increasing her vulnerability. Ooh, perfect dodge into the light attacks right there. She's at a very high range. If I get a good combo off, this could be it. Dodging back because she's going to come in with uppercut into the acrobatic strikes. That wasn't enough to knock her back, but it was a decent amount. And her partner comes to peel for her. Going to pop invisibility here, try to line her up. This may be the elimination, and it is. Ooh. Loki came in and knocked us both back. So I'm going to allow these two again to 1v1. See what happens. Loki goes in, misses his hold heavy, gets hit with the heavy attack by the Izanami right there. And she comes in with the charge. Loki has his ultimate up. Is he going to use it? He does. Knocking back the Izanami, who uses her mobility to interrupt into some nice slide attacks. Ooh, this is looking really good. He tries. She tries for the spike right there. Misses the Loki. They're both around 80% vulnerable. 96% vulnerability now. Close to 100. Loki collects the health orb and is waiting patiently. Izanami dodges through and they're both at a distance. They both chuck out their projectiles. Oh, Loki gets hit on the back end of the boomerang. Misses the dodge. That was kind of an early opening for the Izanami. He uses the charge to knock Loki back. It was not enough. She's trying to get that spike and she hits him out. What a nice side attack. She uses her mobility barely enough to save herself as she wasn't able to get back on. Nice side attacks on her part. They're both over 100%. This is a very intense matchup between the two. Into the light attacks, knocking her back. What's Loki going to do? Is Izanami going to be able to recover right here? She's ticking away with poison. She chucks her boomerang out and she's waiting waiting for an opportunity same for loki they're both back and forth she gets the charge off and it's still not enough on the loki this dude is tankier than i would have expected the acrobatic strikes into the mobility for the izanami and the ultimate comes back out eliminating her out now it's me versus the enemy loki in another 1v1 which one of us is going to come out on top i do land a little bit of the attacks and he falls right there is this going to be enough hopefully he doesn't just drop down again i think he let me win honestly i, th I think he let me win that's not what i wanted i wanted to fight all right it's okay so we're in here in this next round and it's me on an Amaterasu who is obviously level 20 as you guys can clearly see beautiful armor up and we're facing a Loki and a Hercules. Now Loki is one of those characters I'm seeing so much of and I, I agree with it. We're seeing a lot of new players and look at that simultaneous elimination. I wasn't expecting that. But as I was saying with Loki, we're seeing a lot of new players pick him even when they ask the community and discord or ask me in my videos. I always say Loki's a very good starter character, somebody that you should buy early on and then make your way to more difficult characters obviously he's not for everybody he's decent i don't know if i'll continue playing him once i get him to level 20 i probably will just to make videos but i don't think i'll play him as much as i do simply because there are other characters i just enjoy more one of them being zeus zeus is so much fun that reminds me i should probably record some footage for zeus simply because you know i don't record enough i just play him in my off time plus i'm trying to level up characters here hercules is a far way off from level 20 and as i've said before right now i think izanami is almost level 20 she's level 19 so i'm working on her and ymir right now sol is decently there that's a very good invisible and i kind of came out of mine early on where's the enemy loki he's seemingly going for the amaterasu right there i do hit him with my dagger and let's see is she going to be able to take him out no so i'll be able to come in with my heavy attack and he's at 108 percent he does have his ultimate so i'm going to stay back here and she gets baited in so hard right there that's actually pretty funny because he waited, dodged back, hit his ultimate, allowing him to project the Amaterasu in the opposite direction since she was high enough vulnerability to be knocked out. Now, I'm at lower vulnerability, so I'm not too worried for the Loki. However, things can turn around at any moment, so I still need to pay close attention. So I'm hopping around, just waiting to see if he makes a mistake. I went invisible. It wasn't in time, and he landed his acrobatic strikes, which knocked me out of invisibility. And oh no, this isn't happening right now. And I dodged a little too early right there, and he hits me with the hold heavy attack. My goal is just to buy time. I'm over 100% vulnerability. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have my ultimate. I'm going to try to use it. Oh, I was trying to do the same thing he did. You saw that ping pong boomerang thing that just happened right there. That, that somehow saved me into the airlight air heavy attack. I'll be very honest with you. 
I don't think that was my win. I got really lucky. And you know, I just realized that Amaterasu's name is Whole Grain. That is funny. I'm just going to go eliminate this Hercules out very early on, do as much damage as possible. That's something to note, guys. Always understand that sometimes if you build yourself, wait a minute, Amaterasu eliminated Loki already? I don't, oh, she went in for the Rage Quit combo and wasn't able to recover. I think that's why she got eliminated as well. That was actually pretty decent early elimination. But as I was saying, sometimes building for just straight damage is really good. Higher the damage, easier it is to knock people out. Obviously, there are pros and cons to it. Now, let's see. Can I get this Hercules out? He's already at 100%. I'm going to see if I can catch him with my acrobatic strikes. Is it enough? It's not. It's okay. But guess who has his ultimate? I'm going to trick him out here. Boom! Eliminating him, giving me the massive Loki victory. We're on a very good win streak right now. If I was doing the challenge for a win streak and end the video at a loss, this would have been a very good time to do that. However, that's not the goal of this video. I'm just playing Loki to play Loki right now. He needs some experience so I can level him up. Gonna hit the Sol back right there. On my team, we have another Thanatos, which is pretty cool. His name is Luffy Don. Probably looking for the One Piece right there. And on the enemy team, we have a Sol and a King Arthur. The Sol's name is... Tommy Monkey and the King Arthur is Yo Beans. <laughs> I like that name. I think it's pretty funny right there. So the King Arthur is in very high range. Probably eliminate him out in a little bit. Doing some nice damage. But at the same time, I think the Thanatos... Oh, no. The Thanatos is actually very high vulnerability. I did not realize that. So I'm going to eliminate... Oh, okay. He was a little off, but I'm going to eliminate him out there. So now it's just going to be a 1v1 between me and Saul. Which one of us is going to come out on top? Like the little emote right there. Now Saul's at about... 80% vulnerability, pops her ultimate, I'm going to look to just avoid it, didn't need to dodge because I was invisible, she was kind of guessing, what I should have done there was going for an aerial attack, it would have allowed me to be avoid the combustion, just didn't work, going to use my acrobatic strikes, can I land it, she uses her mobility at the same time, very nice counter from the Sol, now, remember, Sol is S tier, so you got to be very careful, you never know who you're facing off against, and I'm learning some people, not calling names, yes I am, Delta Shadow, is simping for Sol, and created a smurf account, now, I eliminated the Sol there, bringing my level one, sorry, my first round victory for my team. But as I was talking about, we're getting Smurfs in this game now. That's hilarious. Let me tell you, as I personally see nothing wrong with Smurfing, I think it's funny kind of making you go, why were you underestimating your opponent in the first place? Because I always say, never underestimate your opponent. You never know what they're capable of. Okay, so I may be able to eliminate him out here. Yes, perfect. That should be GG for the King Arthur. Now I'm going to allow these two to 1v1. So it's the Thanatos versus the Saul. Saul is at 72% and Thanatos is at 61%. Saul gets the health orb with the mobility into some nice side attacks. Thanatos is kind of struggling, being tossed around with the fire. He uses his mobility and he comes back in. The biggest mistake right there was he should have just hovered back on the platform. He should not have allowed himself to reactivate it. And there he goes down. Coming out with the emote, now it's me versus the Sol. We're about even in vulnerability, it's not too bad. She takes to the sky, luckily was able to get the dodge off at a really nice time. She uses combustion a little too early, goes into her mobility. Can I catch her there with mine? Acrobatic strike does work. She's increased in vulnerability a little bit, and I was able to collect a health orb. My invisibility is coming up very soon, gonna pop it right here. She uses her fireball into the pit, getting some nice damage. Plus, the best part right there is the fact that she did the GG into the ultimate, eliminating her out, giving us that second round victory. GG's all around to everybody in this matchup right now, especially you, so I'm having a great time. Now we're just going to see what's going to happen. I'm not going to go too hard to try to give these guys a chance to do something extra on the Thanatos. I think I think I enjoy letting myself commentate the 1v1s, to be honest with you. Is this the elimination there on the Sol? It is. All right, so we're going to let King Arthur right here and Thanatos 1v1. I really do enjoy commentating over the 1v1. As you guys know, commentary is one of my favorite hobbies right there. Is the Thanatos going to fall down? No, he comes back on with his mobility. But the sad thing is he's higher vulnerability. The King Arthur, I don't think he understands he's 1v1-ing it because he threw his Soaring Edge straight at me. He uses his stun a little too early right there. Thanatos is catting around looking to see what King Arthur is going to do. What's going to happen? He uses his interrupt. Nothing happens right there. Another thing I want to say, I love doing this in matches, just allowing myself to commentate over the 1v1. If people started to send me in footage, if you do want to send me in footage, I would be more than happy to let that happen. Just message me on Discord so we can find a way to get the clips to me. All right. So as you can see there, the King Arthur is trying to use some light attacks to get on the Thanatos. Thanatos uses his ultimate, catches the King Arthur, who's at a low vulnerability. It should knock him out, and I guess it doesn't. Somehow the King Arthur survives, probably for the distance travel, uses his mobility, goes behind the Thanatos, who's at 89%, and does not get hit. He's doing very good damage on the Thanatos right now. Thanatos re-engages with his mobility, and Thanatos hits some nice side attacks. They're both very high. Either one could be knocked out with a heavy attack right now, or simply a spike, whatever is possible. The Thanatos comes in with the swipe, 
and eliminates the King Arthur. In this matchup here, we have Ymir on our team, the fiery Ymir skin and Loki duo. This is going to be great. And we're fighting a Saul and an Amaterasu. Not sure what's going to happen in this match, if they're going to come around or if this Ymir is going to be good. But let me tell you, every time I see a Ymir, it always makes me happy. Doing some nice damage and peels for my ally. Going to chuck my dagger just so I can get Ymir a chance to get his composure. Air light into air heavy on the Amaterasu. That was a nice turnaround slap by Saul peeling for her partner and that may oh no whoa 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 what happened to the Saul and I guess Amaterasu went nope after she saw the Saul get eliminated dropping down I'm not sure if the Saul was eliminated by the Ymir or the boulder because they were both on that side either way it worked out and you know that was great so we're looking to land some attacks right here I have no cooldowns I basically missed a lot of things however Amaterasu is ticking away with poison right there gonna hit one light attack and they're both ganging up on my buddy Ymir right there going to stay up here and watch what's happening. Just look for some opportunities. Ooh, I need a dodge back there. Oh, actually, I probably could have avoided it without the dodge into the air light. Air heavy, knocking her back. The ice cube comes out on the Amaterasu. Ymir is trying to eliminate her. Can he get it out right there? She's in dangerous range. I'm going to do it for him. Execute her. Coming to let these two 1v1 right now. Ymir is at 76% while the Saul is at 71. They're both about even right now. It's nice watching them both come back. Saul gets hit out with the hold heavy attack by the Ymir. Comes in with her mobility. Dodges out of the ice spread. And the boulder went nope to Ymir. No, 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 no. Okay, sorry. I I, I freaked out. I was going to get hit with the boulder. She's attacking me. I don't, I'm okay. You could, you could fight your little 1v1. I'm not going to interrupt right there. And you see them both getting the face off. Ymir is probably waiting to see if he can catch her in the ice breath. I guarantee that's what he's doing. And he does use it. Ice breath into the corridor with the hold heavy, giving us the second round victory. I love hitting people in that. I'm actually making a video right now where I'm trying to win only with knocking people out in that little corridor. Let me tell you, that has been one of the hardest challenge to do. I literally only have one video where I was successful in doing it. The rest was just a straight up loss before I even got a chance to, or they reversed it on me. I think the Saul just dropped down there. It happens. All right, so I'm going to let these two 1v1. It's the Amaterasu versus Ymir, and she hits the Heavenly Strike on him, knocking him back. He puts up the wall to get some distance. He misses the hold heavy attack, and she lands some nice light attacks on him right there. She's on the second elevation. She is not hit by the Frost Bread, which is very good. She's knocking him around. She collects the Health Orb. Ymir is struggling, but gets her in the corridor, and she somehow gets angled at a different direction, or it could have just been me at a wrong angle. She catches him in the Sunseeker Dash. She could spike him out if she catches him out, and Ymir is there right at a very dangerous spot switches off with her what's going to happen he gets the ice bread catches her on the corner but the time is running out and she straight up hits him with some light attacks he should have just gone for the heavy attack it probably would have eliminated her out but it looks like he's going for the corridor right now she goes in for that heavy trying to pay attention that she does have her ultimate and he's going there both missing back and forth she collects the health orb there comes the next ice bread this is gg right there knocking her into corridor exactly as he wanted into that beautiful little 1v1 gameplay right there. And we're here on Bastion Bash, and this is going to be a very interesting matchup indeed. And it's honestly simply because um, I switched to 1v1 or accidentally hit 1v1. I was doing 2v2 the whole time, and I was like, oops. I realized when I queued or the queue popped, I was in 1v1. I was like, I don't know how that happens. Sometimes it goes. So hitting her with some nice side attacks. Now, I have some nice challenge videos coming out for you guys in the future. I'm still working on it, as challenge videos are very difficult to make simply because... You know, not everybody, nobody actually knows, sorry, not everybody, nobody knows you're actually doing these challenge videos. So when you're playing wonky, they're going super hard on you, well, especially when you handicap yourself. So let's see, I hit that dagger out. She's a little dazed. She's at high vulnerability. Maybe I can get an aerial attack right there. She does somehow hit me still with those beautiful light attacks. I'm going to use my acrobatic strikes. She took to the sky as well, which means my acrobatic strikes would be ineffective. Air light, air heavy. Now she had enough time to dodge, but I don't know why she did it. Probably going to wait for her to come down right here into the ultimate. Boom. Does that give us the elimination? That's the first round victory for us right there. Now I feel very strong with Loki. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I feel like I'm just going to play Loki till I get tired of him. And then I'm probably going to switch to another character. Who knows? Okay. So that's some nice side attacks right there. Hitting her with the beautiful dagger. She's ticking away. And I actually missed everything. Got caught in the heavenly strike. I'm going to hit her there with the nice acrobatic strikes, knocking her back. Now, here's a topic I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to obviously make another video about this. It just it popped up in my mind. And it's pretty late in the video already. So I'm like, you know what? I'm still going to talk about it. 
So I get a lot of DMs on Discord asking me why I make character videos for all the different characters and don't just main a character. Simply because I have fun playing all the different characters in the Vine Knockout. I do have a main sometimes, not all the time. Like currently my main is Ymir. However, as a YouTube channel, this is my little hobby right here and it's something I truly enjoy doing, especially this commentary. And I think it's fair enough to showcase what all the different characters can do in the game. I can't just be maining one character or else all you'd probably see is a flavor of the month. One month it would just be your mirror videos, one month it would be Loki videos, and I think that's pretty boring. As well as I want other players, especially new players, to know you can play whatever character you want and still have a lot of fun. So as you can see, I'm going very heavily on this Amaterasu right now. I kind of want to switch back into twos, hitting her right there into the nice dagger. We do clash. I was not about to say I thought she hit me out there. Now getting some nice more attack. She's at 100%. If I got that hold heavy off, that would have been it. My ultimate, however, is coming up soon. I could just wait for it or catch her off with the acrobatic strikes. We're about to see what happens. Now, uh, I don't know yet. We'll wait. Wait for her to drop down. I do have my... Okay, I was going to go up in the edge and use my ultimate. And she just chose to fall down. And in this matchup here, we're Loki and we're fighting the Loki. Who chose to pick King Arthur? Now, I forgot to kind of switch the 2v2. I pressed play again after that last matchup. And I also want to say something right here. I only insta-locked Loki for this specific match simply because I saw his name was Loki. I was actually going to use a different character and probably record that footage for another one. But again, his name was Loki. I could not help myself. Going to probably eliminate him soon. He's over 100% vulnerability now. Still ticking on the poison into the dagger. I do have acrobatic strikes coming up. So I'm going to look to use it right here and connect him. No, the elevation was wrong. So what's he going to do? He's looking to go for that health orb. Guess what I got it? Dodging it into the heavy attack, looking to go invisible right here. And this should be the elimination, giving us the first round victory. I want to try to get one, maybe two more 2v2 duo matches before I end this Loki series right here. So he's still in the sky. Very nice. I like how a lot of people are learning that kiting in the sky with certain characters do help you. I should not have hit any of those. I should not have used light attack, sorry, simply because of that elevation. But I really wasn't paying too close of attention. Interrupting that stun, perfect timing, and into the air light, air heavy, knocking him back, trying to get elevation just so he avoids. Because I'm realizing one of his bad habits is that he keeps using air attacks out of everything else. And that's the second round victory for me right there. Uh, am I going to fall down? Yes, I do. It's fine. It gives a little extra animation to the windscreen right there or loose screen, depending on what's going on. Hitting him with the reversal right there. The dagger was uncalled for because, you know, he was, again, at a higher elevation. I should have paid attention before using it into some light satellite attacks, getting his damage up very high. He does a nice picture perfect stun on me. I actually really like it. I'm going to kite around just a little bit to see if he makes a mistake. Now, what I should have done there was walk back and then turn around, getting the dagger off on him. So he's a little dazed into the acrobatic strikes. I'm almost invisible up right here. So I'm going to hit him, turn invisible. Now, oh, no. Okay, that was actually nice. If I walked in a little sooner, I probably would have been stunned. Nice side attacks with the poison damage ticking off on him. I'm going to probably use my ultimate right here. Knock him back. Does it give us the victory? Yes, it does. All right, we're going to switch back to one 2v2, sorry, right now. In this matchup, we have a Thanatos versus another Thanatos. The Thanatos on my team is wearing that interesting skin. I wouldn't say it's the best. It's interesting. And the enemy Thanatos using that nice local default skin. And we have a Hercules on his team. I somehow avoided that soul leech by the enemy Thanatos right there. That actually came in handy. We're getting tossed around. I need to be more careful. I don't know what's going on. He just zoomed by me with his shoulder tackle. Tried to get the air attacks off. And my partner Amir just being tossed around, as I said earlier. Nice side attacks. Getting the increased damage. This should eliminate the Hercules out. Perfect. Now, these two are going at it. I'm just going to use my ultimate here and collect the health orb. Now, nice side. Oh, wow. The server played up a little bit. I'm going to leave these two to 1v1. This is the better option. I should have stopped a little earlier, but it's okay. All right, so as you can see, my Thanatos on my team's a higher vulnerability. He was able to rake up a lot of damage, knocking back the enemy with that heavy attack. Is he going to recover? The enemy Thanatos does have his ultimate, reactivates. I don't know why these guys are reactivating their mobility. It just doesn't make sense. Going to get some distance right here. What's going to happen? The heavy attack comes out on my partner, knocking him back. And the enemy Thanatos, I'm not sure if he's going to hit me, so I'm just... Oh, he does hit me. Now, because of that, you got eliminated. You should not have focused me. And yes, I know. I was going for the health orb because why not? You guys are Thanatos. You guys can heal up on your own. Can I catch him off in the sky? I do, but it doesn't interrupt him, and that's totally fine. My initial plan was to kind of catch the Hercules, but it is what it is. 
Can I get him here? Perfect, but wrong direction. So he doesn't get eliminated early on. He's at over 100% vulnerability and catches me with his soul leech. Oh, my partner gets both of them. Gonna hit them back here. The enemy Thanathos is over 100% vulnerability while my partner is dealing with the Hercules. I'm gonna see if I could keep focus on the enemy hitting the dagger right there. Can we eliminate him out? Nope, they both countered really nice. Now I'm gonna look to get a hold heavy attack right here. I'm in range. Can I get it? Simultaneous double kill right there. That was actually picture perfect. Oh man, th that actually hyped me up a lot. I'm gonna, I'm, this is going to be the last match for the video. This is it right here. All right, so nice side attacks on the fan of those hitting him with the dagger. Trying to counter him right there, but it didn't work. Acrobatic strikes. Can I land it? Yes, I do. He's at 71% hitting the Hercules just so I wouldn't be hit by his attacks personally. And the fan of those falls straight down. Gave up or Wi-Fi. Who knows? And let's see. GG's all around to everybody I've played today with these low-key matchups. I think we're going to be able to eliminate this Hercules right here and GG.